Hey everyone, welcome to Astronomy 10 in spring 2021. This is me, your instructor, Dylan Trelawney. I wanted to put out a quick um, video announcement. Um, actually, I hope it'll be quick, uh, meaning under 15 minutes. But I wanted to highlight some of the main points. In addition to the syllabus, I wanted to highlight some of the most important things for this, this first week. Okay, The first thing being that this class is completely online, as you may have guessed. But more importantly, it's asynchronous, meaning that there are no specific class meeting times, right? either on Zoom, on Teams, or elsewhere. Right? We all are not getting together. Everything is on you, at your own pace, at your own schedule. Okay, Each week, you'll see that I will post a module. Okay? And it'll either be one chapter, sometimes it may bleed into uh, two weeks. But for the most part, every week is one chapter. So in that module, I will post learning activities or, or, or learning materials. Okay? They may include YouTube videos, links to specific websites, or actual pages in Canvas that I've typed up and included explanations and pictures and diagrams and that stuff. Okay? It's up to you to read through everything, watch through everything, and complete the learning activities on your own. Okay? Each week there there will be due dates, right? The homework will be due each I believe I said Sunday at, at midnight, right? Or 11:59. So there are due dates every week, but during the weeks it's up to you and your schedule, right, to complete the learning material. So that's the lecture part. Um, I realize other classes may meet sy synchronously on Zoom. This class does not. Okay. So that being said, this class is asynchronous, right? We do not meet at single times. And so that requires a fair amount of responsibility on your part. Okay. So to not only be up to speed with any announcements I post, but reading and familiarizing yourself with the syllabus, okay? Um, so please read anything I post, the syllabus pages, if you haven't already, um, and just make it a habit to always stay up to date for as much as possible, okay? And as far as the learning material goes, if you haven't taken an online course before, um, let me tell you, it's, you'll, you'll soon realize that it takes more effort than a traditional face-to-face -face class. Okay, If you haven't taken an online class before, let me tell you, um, it will require a bit more time, maybe, and more, I want to say, effort, for lack of a better word, on your part. Okay, I'm the facilitator, right? It's my job to take what I know and transfer it into your brains, right? or at least present it to you in a manner in which you can internalize it right, correctly. So that's my job. Right? So it'll, it'll, it'll take a bit of getting used to, but please allow adequate time every week. Okay? It's not as easy as face-to-face. -face. Okay. Next, let's go through the resources. This is the primary textbook at play in the cosmos. Right, It's written for non-science majors, right? Um, this is the physical copy. I have it because publishers are nice and they give instructors free things if they ask. Sorry. Um, the ebook is what we'll primarily use, right? The link I posted on the, the required textbook pages, that's a link to the ebook for that about $40 price, okay? So that price and that bundle includes both the e-version, as well as access to the homework system, SmartWork 5. Okay. Um, a little bit about that. There are three ways to access that, right? One, the first way, if you bought the bundle or bought the book from the bookstore, they should have given you a physical card, right, with a code. So when you click on the practice homework, right, under week one, practice homework Click on that, there, will be, there should be, I guess, a link or a way to enter that physical code, okay? The second way, when you click on practice homework, 
is to purchase access to this book in that homework system online, right? Completely online via credit card, right? Or debit card, I guess. That's option two. Option three is if you don't have um, the adequate funds yet, there is a 21 day free trial period option, right? So you can sign up for that and you have three weeks to acquire the, the funds to purchase full access to the book and the homework system, okay? Um, the actual first home, let's see. Let's see, the intro assignments, which do not require this access, are due the 30th. Uh, I haven't made homework one, right? The real homework one, I haven't set that due yet, but I'm going to assign that next Monday, whatever date that is, the 18th or so. Right, and so that will be due the following Sunday night. So the 20 something, okay? So uh, here in about two weeks, two weeks or so, the, the first assignment will be due, okay? So try and, and get access, right? Purchase access to the ebook and smart work as soon as possible or sign up for the trial period, okay? That's the first one. The next one, is the stars by H. A. Ray, and if you leaf through this, you might notice that well, it appears kind of cartoonish, right? Some illustrations kind of are. Where's one? Where it's a good one, right? They're they're hand drawn sketches, right? But this is a great book, very well written. It's a it's it's yes, it's basically a children's book, but I use this in grad school. Right? I used this in grad school to, one, learn the constellations that I was observing, and two, learn the, the various mechanics of how objects move in the solar system. Right? So it's very well written. We'll use it for at least one, probably two labs. Okay? Plus, you can use it for the exams. Okay? And then thirdly is this. Right? This is the night sky planisphere which means planisphere is a map of the sky, okay? All of these dots are stars. And so this white piece here can rotate. And so if you line up the correct date with the correct time, it'll show you everything in the sky at that date and time, okay? So this will be very handy for one lab in, in particular and possibly more, okay? You can also use this if you need to during the exam. So those are the three um, resources that we'll use, okay? Let's see. I will say that you don't have to purchase them from the bookstore, right? It's it's okay if you have, but um, it's okay if you don't, okay? Let's see. The intro assignments, I believe there are four, okay? They're due January 30th by 11.59. If you haven't started those, uh, please do so soon. They are a way for you to get familiar with the course, for you to get familiar with your classmates, for you to get familiar with me, yeah, I think, and me familiar with you, okay? Because this is an asynchronous class, we're not meeting face-to-face. -face. Um, I need, I want to get to know you a little bit, okay? Because I want to put a face to a name, so. That's part of, of the, the get to know your, your class assignment, okay? So do those as soon as, soon as you can, all right? It cannot hurt. In fact, it'll help you if you do it. Intro assignments, okay, I talked about smart work. That's it. Okay, otherwise, those were the, the, the major issues. Oh, office hours, right? I corrected the intro quiz Right, the course introduction quiz to reflect my most recent, my my most up to date office hours. Okay, they are Tuesdays and Thursdays, two to four thirty p.m. on Discord. Okay, you may have read about Discord in my um, intro syllabus, and if you're unfamiliar with Discord, it's an app or a program, right? It's a website, whatever, that you can chat back and forth in real time either typing or talking, okay? So it's kind of like a phone over the internet. It just doesn't have a video feature like um, Zoom does, okay? So if you go to the App Store 
or anywhere where where you buy apps, it's right there. Discord looks like that. Hey, got a notification. And so I've already set up our channel. Our channel has the the sun right there. Our, our server, if you will. And in there, I've created various channels to text and uh, communicate with, right? We have text channels and voice channels. So if you click the invite link on the appropriate page in the syllabus, it should take you to the page to sign up, okay? But that's where I have my, I will have my office hours, okay? Tuesdays, Thursdays, 2 to 4.30 p.m., okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, and so that was it now, okay? Otherwise, stay engaged, right? That's a big part of an online class, right? You must try and do your best to stay engaged. That's that's why I'm, I'm making really a video announcement, right? I want you to see me. I have a face, I, I have hobbies, I do things, right? So I am a real person too, right? So I want to see one of your faces. Well, you only have one face. I want to see your face you know, at least once. Okay. So stay engaged, talk to your classmates, make friends, form st study groups, um, be proactive. Okay. I'm going to try and bring that up throughout the semester. Be proactive. Okay. Otherwise, I hope you have a great first week and I will hope to hear and see from you soon. All right. Thanks for watching.